What's good, Josh? It's Ross back at it again with another video. So, I just finished checking out the Roman Reigns Drew McIntyre Survivor Series contract signing, and I must say, I enjoyed this contract signing. It didn't have the cliche flip over the table and it just becomes a brawl, but I just like them talking and you can tell the intensity um the only reason why i can't really post the actual clip of me reacting to it is because wwe has been very harsh on me posting like any of the any wwe content lately even old content a lot of times it gets blocked or there's some type of issue where it gets blocked in certain countries so you know right now uh, as it stands, um, I'm still going to be checking out some, you know, wrestling clips and reacting to it. But as it stands, um, for the most part, I'm going to have to really, when it comes to like the main roster and up to date uh, wrestling like storylines, I'm going to have to really just kind of give my thoughts and opinions on it. So hopefully you guys can understand that um, and bear with me on that process. But WWE, they're not playing when it comes to their content. But I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on this contract signing. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this was a entertaining contract signing. Wasn't cliche for me. I enjoyed it. I like the subtleties of Roman Reigns and his heel persona, man. The fact that he was walking to the ring, got in the middle of the ring, <clears throat> and um, he was about to sit down. I think Adam Pierce, one of the guys that was pretty much mediating the contract signing, he was about to sit down and roman looked at him because the he was going to sit at the head of the table roman looked at him adam pierce moved and roman sat at the head of the table instead of the opposite of the table like usually most competitors do they sit opposite of each other facing each other i thought that was brilliant i thought that was just subtle because that's his gimmick now i'm at the head of the table i am the chief i belong at the top of the table i thought that was entertaining just on that just that subtlety man that that's what you call just like great storytelling within setting up a match um i also like the fact that drew is straight to the point straight business he wasn't sitting up there trying to you know like really go at roman he's just letting roman know hey i'm here to sign this contract do what i gotta do and i'm gonna let you know this so you understand this if you take me lightly that will be your downfall i like that i love that he's just straight to the point i'm ready to fight man i don't keep i don't give a damn about anything else i don't give a damn if you call yourself the tribal chief i'm ready to fight so i love that i love roman's condescending attitude he's just all about you know i'm here to teach you a lesson you're 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 my favorite number two that was a line he said towards the end i love that you're my favorite number two basically saying the wwe championship is a number two champion uh championship belt because he's not holding it and i love that even though the universal championship we all can agree is not really the top title but the fact that roman is trying to make it be the top title because roman's holding it I love that. It's bringing some type of prestige to that belt. I'm just being honest with you. It, that belt hasn't really had any type of prestige in a long time. So the fact that uh, Roman is really lifting it up to the status of, I hold this belt, that means it is the top championship. Doesn't matter about the lineage of the actual WWE championship. This belt means more than any belt in the company. I love that. It brings some importance to the belt. Um, I also like, once again, there was some subtle jabs and subtle moments here. Roman's about to sign the contract. Paul Heyman snatches the pin from him. He throws it away picks up another pin that was on the table as if to say you're not using the same pin that the secondary champion is using you're going to use your own pin subtle stuff like that i i love it man this was just so entertaining like this is the match i'm looking forward to i'm also looking forward to the survivor series match of traditional five on five i'm looking forward to that but this match right here I'm looking forward to and it's funny because all the roman reigns matches that we've had since he's been back those are the matches i've been looking forward to the most who would have thought in a million years i would be looking forward to a roman reigns match this many times in one year i remember a time when roman reigns had a match i didn't care 
we, we kind of knew the outcome we knew what was gonna happen no i didn't give a damn but i love this i love the way he was just basically telling drew when my time is up it'll be your time you know what i'm saying and you'll look back and you'll be like damn roman was right and you'll love me for it and i'll love you for it i'm just here to teach you lessons and it's like he's so he believes what he's saying that is what you call good characters in wrestling they believe that what they're saying is true now of course you had the heels like seth rollins like he was doing his little he's the the disciple the the god of monday night raw you know what i'm saying so uh, of course that one's a little bit extreme it's kind of hokey because he really was like he's the not the god the messiah of monday night raw i was like eh, that's a little hokey but it, it kind of worked for a little bit because you know he needed a character change but this one works more believably because he's like yo I'm at the top of the family. I'm, I'm at the top of the food chain. He's embracing what we already have known about Roman for a very long time. Roman is the guy that they want. So he's embracing it and I'm loving it, bro. I think what would have made this segment so much better is if there was a crowd. Can you imagine a crowd going crazy for Drew? booing the hell out of roman for the right reasons this time because before people were booing him because they thought he just was trash and they were tired of people they were tired of vince mcmahon shoving him down our throats pause but now it's different they hate him for because he's a, a real heel and i think if i can't wait for crowds to come back even if it's just a little bit it makes it a little bit better just like how nxt has the the screens and they have like the the crowd like behind the plexiglass i think they definitely need to do that just get some type of human interaction in there safely as possible because i feel like there needs to be a crowd for drew he deserves it he uh, you if you guys remember when he won the royal rumble how amazing that pop was how amazing it was when he eliminated brock and how amazing it was when he won the damn thing that is what he deserves and i think it'll even hell it was amazing when he eliminated roman reigns like i think it will really be perfect if we just had crowds for this type of segment this would have been amazing but i love the just the personal aspect of it i love they didn't get crazy i love no tables were flipped over even drew mentioned it i'm not flipping over this table i'm here to sign this contract and whoop your ass on sunday that's what i like to see that's how most actual contract signings go in like professional sports <clears throat> they talk they little trash between each other you know even though it's not like a contract sign it's like more of a press release but they talk they little trash they state what they're gonna do and then that's it you know sometimes it does get a little bit a little bit antsy a little bit rough but i like this because it's just like save it for survivor series i still stand by my judgment i do not think roman's losing this match but i also don't think drew is gonna lose clean the reason why I say that is because, one, he just gained back the title, so it wouldn't make sense for him to lose it clean like that. He just gained back the title, so you kind of kill his momentum. I think you have Drew lose because maybe the Usos or Jay Uso gets involved. Somebody's getting involved in this match to cost um, um, Drew the match. That's the only thing I can think of that would make sense logically is to have someone cost him the match and that's how Roman wins ultimately. And it keeps Roman strong. He does not need to lose. He does not need to catch a pin damn near to after WrestleMania. I'm just be honest with you. Maybe you can build up somebody else to potentially take it off him at WrestleMania. But as it stands, once again, and I'm going to keep saying this until something else happens on SmackDown, he's the only segment I really check out. I don't even really watch SmackDown that much, but I make sure I watch a Roman Reigns segment. That is how I know he's the best thing that's going on on the show and in WWE as a whole. This is some of his best work, and I really wish he would have turned heel a long time ago. And I wish it was this exact gimmick right here because this is perfect. This is very, very good. I'm looking forward to Survivor Series just to see how things play out, man. But comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this contract signing, did you guys enjoy their back and forth? Because I know I did. Also, let me know down below. Do y'all still think that Roman's going to win? Or do you guys think Drew may 
pull off an upset let me know as well down below but i appreciate all the love and support man road to 30k i can't wait to do my survivor series thoughts and opinions you guys love it when i do my thoughts and opinions on pay-per-views so i can't wait to do that this sunday but i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace mm -hmm.